Christ is among us. We are faithful. I don't have a sermon for you today. I want to have a conversation with you about the charitable work that we are doing in our church. And I want to have this conversation with you today about our charitable work because in our archdiocese this Sunday, when we read the gospel about the Good Samaritan, is dedicated to Philopolos, to the friends of the poor, to the charitable arm of our archdiocese. Also, providentially, today on November 13th, we commemorate St. John Chrysostom, one of the greatest hierarchs of the Orthodox Church and one hierarch who had his heart for the poor. He got himself into a lot of trouble because he preached against the Empress, he preached and asked the rich to give to the poor. And because of that, he was exiled twice from Constantinople, the second time being marched to death. However, we, comm we commemorate him today and the church plays the most popular liturgy served in the Orthodox Church under his name. Because indeed, he was a higher with a heart of gold. So, let's start our conversation about the charitable work that we are doing in our church. I'm going to ask you a question. A few of you might know the answer because you have been directly involved in this. So I'm asking those of you who know the answer because you've been directly involved, not once. Okay. I want to get a general opinion. What do you think? How much, by the grace of God, and by working together with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, how much did we give to charity to our Philopotos, to the charitable part of our church so far this year until November 13th of 2022? Do you have any guess? Any idea? I'm, I'm taking guesses now. But, uh, more. 25. More. 35. <laughs> Less. <laughs> <laughs> yes. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, this year, so far, we gave to charities and charitable projects more than $28,000 and 70 pairs of shoes. Altogether, about $30,000. Isn't that amazing? I was so thrilled when your presbyter had the courage, you know, to be honest, she, you know, she told me home, you know, my brother is trying to do something to support Ukrainian refugees. I want to help you out because I said, I don't know because I don't want to be accused that we are helping your brother's church. She said, no, I'm going to tell them. And she went to the meeting and she told the ladies, my brother is trying to do something. They don't have a budget. But they are bringing refugees from the Ukrainian border of Romania to his church to cause them. And they don't have a budget, they don't have anything, but they want to do it. After sharing this news with you, in two, three months, we raised close to $20,000 to the point that we said, it's enough. We don't need it anymore. To the point that the last, the last, uh, maybe $2,000, I think, yes, I think the last $2,000, we gave to another organization in a neighboring city that was uh, hosting refugees, and the last $500 we sent directly to a family in Ukraine. Isn't it amazing? By the grace of God, we did this. By the grace of God, we raised so much you know, for helping the children of Bloomingdale Elementary. By the grace of God, I realize that you have a heart for charitable work. 
I've been praying and asking the Lord to reveal to me what are your gifts. And He revealed to me what your gifts were. Also, to be honest, I don't know if you remember that about a year ago, around this time before the beginning of Nativity Land, I preached a few times about starving children in the world. And I told you that I want to be myself involved in that. I want to be personally involved in helping hungry children. And I've been praying for that. And like any prayer, like the answer to any prayer, it didn't come right away. It came a few months later when I received a phone call from Father John Sakelario, who is the priest of the Greek Orthodox Church in South Cape, Michigan. When I was serving in Lexington, I think seven years ago, we talked about this, about this priest who is doing a wonderful missionary work in Kenya and who is heading a mission church and an orphanage. So Father John talked to me about seven years ago about this. And now, last September, I think it was, he calls me, Father, are you still interested in that? I said, yes, I am. I called our flock of us, and very gladly they agreed to get our church involved in this project. So I've been announcing this project for a few weeks now. I don't know if you've got a chance to check the website of this Orthodox Mission Church that also has an orphanage in Kenya. This mission church is looking after more than 250 children. All together. A half of those children are orphans. The rest, their families, they have parents, but they are struggling. So, I want to plant this seed in your hearts today. And to see how we could come together again as a church and help as we help the Ukrainian refugees hosted by the church where my brother in law serves. I would love all of us to come together. You could go online and sponsor a child yourself. But I would ask you to become a church and to work together towards helping this ministry. I'm going to play for you two short videos. The first, in the first video, we have Father Constantine, who is a local priest in Kenya and who is the priest of this mission church that was started in 2010, and they also have the orphanage. He established a connection with our metropolis and with a few priests in our metropolis and also in the metropolis of Atlanta. He was in the U.S. again this fall, giving speeches to a few of the churches that were coming. In this short video, he is at the church, the Greek Coast Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, we have Father Constantine and Father Joshua Pappas in this short video. Yeah. 